Hi everyone, welcome to World of Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie and welcome to another viewer's replay. This one's coming from Mustang from MI6 Clan and she's driving her bombshell, the American Artillery, the Tier 5 M41 HMC. And as you might have seen on the front of her gun barrel, she's got two marks of excellence in it, which tells me she really knows what she's doing when she comes when it comes to handling this big gun on the Tier 5 American Artillery. She's drawn top tier in this game. And without giving too much away, this is going to be a close finish. She's going to do a bit of damage. And we'll see if she can win the game towards the end. Playing on mines, at early on in mines, I guess, when you play artillery, you just sort of have a bit of a look around, see what you can shoot at, see who gets lit up reasonably early, which is what she's going for now. The tanks that are lit up early, you can see the BT-7 artillery. It looks like he hasn't moved, he's taking a couple of shots. Mustang's going to go for him, or is she? No, she's not, because he's disappeared. So she moves back towards the hill, which is a pretty standard place to go when you're playing any tank, and she's zooming in on that dangerous little Hetzer. Even though it's Tier 4, it's got a pretty good gun. And it can do a fair bit of damage. And bang! One shot, one kill. you got to love that when you're playing artillery. Firing one shot, taking a tank out. The team are comfortably winning 2-1 at this stage and Mustang's looking for her next target. Looks like it might be the M3 Lee. That M3 Lee might be in a world of pain. Look out, bang! Two shots, two kills. Not a bad start at all. 4-2. Now she's looking at the KV-1. But fairly soon, now it's 5-2, fairly soon that starts to change. She's looking at those KV-1s on the eastern side of the map, which are very dangerous tanks at Tier 5. A lot of tanks that the KV-1 comes up against just simply can't penetrate it. Now she's just waiting for somebody to get spotted as her team slowly crumble around her. They're five all now. They were, bear in mind, they're up by three tanks less than a minute ago. And now they're down. Gets a good look at that KV-1. Takes him for nearly 200 damage, which is all right. Someone else hits him. Hopefully someone finishes him off soon. And now they're back ahead at 7-6. So at this stage, the game's looking pretty good. But looking at the lineup of tanks that are left, the enemy have some pretty good high-tier mediums still running around. Most of Mustang's tanks are light tanks at lower tier, tier 4. He's trying to get a sneaky shot into that T-25. Who's already picked up four kills, so it's not a bad person to be going after. But he knows, he knows that there are three artilleries in this game, so he's sitting behind the house doing exactly the right thing and trying to stay artillery safe. Still a close game at seven to eight, only down by one tank, now two. And this is where Mustang starts to think. Have a look at that west flank. There's no none of none of the good guys are on that left flank, so She's getting into a position now where she can defend herself because there's a looks that was spotted on the island as well as that PZ-4H. PZ-4H is a top tier tank. He's picked up a kill. The T-25 we think is coming around the northeast side. And there's still a couple of other tanks that we just don't know where they are. Little AMX-40 on Muzz's side is made his way all the way to the enemy base and he's sitting on cap and it looks like he's going for their artillery looking at the mini map obviously we can't see his point of view but looks like he's going to try and flush out their artillery either for Muzz and the Westby to shoot at or to kill himself but the PZ4H has just been spotted on the island on the west Muzz is looking at that T-25, he's picked up four kills, but there's just not a shot there. He's in too close to that hill where the toaster tank is sitting, the PZSFL IVC or whatever you call it. 
So now she's just sort of zooming around, having a look to see what's around there. But I think there's a great deal that she can shoot at at this stage. That little PZ, it looks like the rock's in her way, so she's going to back up and have a bit of a, a bit of a look. But the west flank is totally fallen. It's just two artillery, the light tank, and the toaster tank against two artillery, three mediums and a light. And those three mediums are the ones that Mars really needs to worry about because they're, they're going to get around. They're all top tier. They're all going to be moving around. They've picked up six kills between them, those two mediums. Make that seven. And now the game's in dire straits, losing 9-12. Two artillery and the toaster tank, the tier five German tank destroyer, who hasn't done a great deal by the looks of it. And the other artillery has just been taken out by the PZ-4H, the one that Mustang was looking at earlier on that island. Speaking of islands, this will be my last video for a couple of weeks. I'm going to Fiji for two beautiful weeks. So there won't be much happening on my channel for at least two weeks. I'm leaving on Sunday. The toaster tank finally gets a kill, taking out the PZ-4H. But still two mediums, doing a bit of damage. You can see on the mini-map, and there's absolutely nothing Mustang can do here about that T-25, who's picked up his fourth kill. And now it is a one versus five situation. I can't think of the middle, but if Mustang can pull this off, not only will she get herself a top gun, and likely a heap of other medals, but there's a, there's a medal for killing five enemy tanks when it's five against one. If anyone can tell me what it is, watch this. Finally gets rid of that T-25, who's been wreaking havoc. Yeah, there is a medal for winning a 1 versus 5 battle. Let's see if Mustang, Mustang can do it, and we'll find out what that medal is a little bit later on. Now the BT-7 artillery, that's a premium tank that Wargaming gave out for their anniversary about a month ago, a couple of weeks ago. He's doing the right thing. He's not going to go in front of Mustang's gun. He knows that she can one-shot kill him. He's only a little tier 3. Mustang's got the big tier 5 gun with two marks of excellence. So he's, he's just trying to light her up for their artillery. But I don't know much about artillery, but I very much doubt that they can shoot her where she's sitting now. The AMX-40, who died earlier, is pinging the map like his life depends on it. We know someone's in the cap circle. Muzz does exactly the right thing here and just sits here, waiting to see if he's just driving through it or if he's just going to sit on cap to try and win the game. He obviously has just driven through it. Can he fall into the same track that his mate did? Boom! There goes the M4. So Muzz is sitting on four kills now. 1,200 damage that we know about. She's still in a safe artillery position. So there's no real need for her to go charging around, uh, sitting there she's got to make the enemy come to her, which is exactly the right thing to do in my opinion in this situation. Going by the chat, it's obviously quite a few people are still watching this game. Now it's one versus three. Mustang's got her four kills, 1200 damage. The BT-7 is still doing the right thing in my opinion. He doesn't really want to be driving in front of that gun. He's already seen two of his mates do it and two of his mates die. He probably knows that she's reloaded already. It looks like it's it's not a... I did have this tank a while ago, but it's been a long time since I played it. I remember that it was pretty quick to reload and pretty quick to aim. And with two marks of excellence, she obviously knows what she's doing, Mustang. And she's probably got some good crew skills as well. And that, that obviously gets the aim time down and the reload time and all that kind of stuff so now it's one versus three it looks to me like the BT-7 is using his brains and thinking I'm not going to go in front of that big gun that big gun will just tear me apart and he's just going to sit on the cap and make Mustang come to him which is a good move because he knows as soon as he goes in front of that gun and that's the only way around the rock it'll be the last thing he does so Mustang slowly creeps Towards the cap, there he is. They're knocked out. One artillery fires back. Very 
the other artillery fires back, takes her for 229 damage, leaving her a one hit point. You can't get much closer than that. So on one hit point, Mustang slowly retreats back to her rock. It's still one, it's one versus two, she's picked up five kills. It was the enemy M41 HMC that got her, and so she knows it is reloaded. Because the reload time is obviously the same. She gets back to the rock, just to make sure she's safe, because if any... Either artillery fire, even a little bit of splash damage will take out that one hit point. So now it's a case of hurry up and wait. And she's just going to sit behind that rock and hope one of them pokes through. She's obviously fully aimed now. She can't afford to be aggressive at all now. It was just a very... In one way it was lucky, in one way it was unlucky. Unlucky that she's been reduced to one hit point. What lucky that that shot could have totally killed her. So she only needs one more kill for a top gun. And she's realising now that one of the artilleries, probably probably the French, or they're both reasonably quick artilleries, one of the artilleries is sitting on cap. So with three minutes to go, the cap time is only going to take one minute. She's got to go for the reset. There's no use just sitting back there. And it's the other American, so she kills him and takes the shot from the French artillery. What a close finish. A brilliant game there by Mustang, as you can see in the post-game battle results. She got the mastery badge there, as well as the top gun for getting six kills. I Calibre and another medal that I can't think of, but we'll see in the next page. Oh, it's a defender medal, I believe. Top scored by a long way, as you'll see on the second page of the post-game battle results. But it, even though it was a loss, you can see she picked up 909 base experience. The best game by a player on both of those sides. As we move on to the second page, you'll see a little bit more of context of how she went. So you can see there, high calibre, top gun and defender medal, 954 base experience for a nearly 1600 damage, which most damage on both sides, six kills for the top gun and you can see that nobody else on her side really stood up apart from the Stug, he did okay with 600 and the the PZ SFL IVC, I think that's the toaster tank with 700 Cutler with 300 whereas on the enemy side there was two tanks that got close to a thousand damage and a few 500s and it was a, obviously it was very close in the end a great game there by Mustang that's why she's got two marks of excellence on that tank on the bombshell T5 American Artillery. And on the final page, even though it was a loss, it was a very close loss, healthy profit of nearly 25,000 credits. Fired seven shots, only one of them missed. The other six all hit, all did damage, and every shot that she fired that landed got a kill because she ended up with a top gun medal. A little bit of splash damage there, and... You can see the game went for nearly 12 minutes, so it was pretty close to full time and a great game by Mustang. So if you want to see your replays, feel free to email them to me or send me a message in game, put them up on the World of Tanks replays website and I'd love to see your replays on my channel. As soon as I, as soon as I hit 100 subscribers, I'll be giving out gold and credits packages for the most liked and viewed viewers replays. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this replay. I really did, even though it was artillery. It was an exciting finish in the end. I'm off for two weeks, so I'll be sunning myself in the tropics under a palm tree, drinking pina coladas out of a coconut shell in sunny Fiji. I hope you guys have a good few weeks. I'm going to enjoy the break. It's been a long time since I've had a holiday, so take care, everyone, and I'll see you all when I get back.